The fruit of the tree of life is this, it's godly thinking. The forbidden tree is ungodly thinking. I'm asking you the question, are you eating the fruit of godly thinking or are you eating the fruit of ungodly thinking? The second fruit from this tree is, is the, the fruit called godly words. So what's coming out of your mouth? Are they godly words? Because if they are, it's connected to your godly thinking. But or what's coming out of your mouth? Are, are they just angry, judgmental, vindictive words? Because if they are, they're connected to your thinking. Number three, behavior. What's your behavior like? Ask the people in your world. If you're married, ask your spouse, how am I behaving? Oh, John, now, now you're cutting too deep. <laughs> now you're cutting too deep. Now, seriously, it's not what you're in public that your behavior is really seen. It's what you are in private. It's the people that know you the best that can see your Christianity the most. So if your thinking is right, your words is right, then your behavior is right. If your thinking is wrong, your words will be wrong and your behavior will be wrong. And here's the fourth fruit of uh, the tree of, of, of godliness is godly connections. Godly connections. Who are you walking with? Because in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, Paul is saying, you've got to walk with the Holy Spirit. And he says this, in ver I say then, walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. So he's saying, if your behavior is wrong, your thinking is wrong, your, your, your words are wrong, maybe you're walking with the right, wrong person. But if you want to walk in good behavior, in good thinking, in, in, in good words, then walk with the Spirit because who you walk with influences you. Your connections influences you.